Hello internet and welcome to video two of this internet make, uh, DVD making saga. Uh, I've noticed I just I just looked at the first video and I noticed that my color uh, it's recording the color off for some reason and I'm not quite sure why but I'm pretty sure that it has something to do with uh, the hypercam which is the program I'm using to record this and Windows 7 not being fully supported by Hypercam yet. Um, so you're gonna have to uh, you know, excuse the color, <laughs> the weird color offset for right now. Um, the second t uh, video is going to be about uh, using Sony Vegas Pro and DVD Architect Pro uh, to make a DVD. So if you don't have DVD Architect Pro and don't plan on getting it, I suggest you click back to the main video and go to the next video where I shall explain using a different method, uh, namely without DVD Architect Pro on how to make a DVD. So for this one we're going to be using Sony Vegas Pro and DVD Architect Pro. So let's hurry up and get into uh, Sony Vegas Pro here. You'll see I've got my media, my timeline. It was actually, as you can see up here, a 10 minute video. Um, and it's also interlaced um, so which is very interesting because uh, up here in the project settings I went ahead and did deinterlace method to none I changed that to none because in this case it just looks better for some reason I don't, I don't quite exactly know why right now and I will figure it out eventually um, when I get time to do more research on this um, on why um, so that's probably going to be the next thing I do after I finish this video. Uh, so anyway, I cut it down to one minute for easier rendering for the sake of this. Alright, so yeah, so we're going to go up and we're going to go file, render as, I'm just going to leave it as untitled. You'll see I've already rendered it three times, so I'm not going to actually render it. Um, and the none blend and inter it's the it's the deinterlacing method uh, that I chose. So, um, if you're going to be using DVD Architect, we we want to render it as an MPEG-2. Uh, we're going to do that for any DVDs actually. MPEG-2 is nice container, um, and uh, you'll see Sony Vegas Pro has got a nice little preset of Architect. Um, templates. So since we do not have widescreen right here, because it um, doesn't tell you up in the uh, up here actually, actually, but I know it's not widescreen, so I'm gonna just pick a DVD Architect uh, uh, video stream, and what I'm gonna do is you do you just do save, and it's gonna render for you, and it's gonna come up as one of these, and it's just gonna be the video timeline of the of this file. So it's gonna run through all the frames and make it a video. Then uh, you go back up to file render. After that rendering is done, and you're going to select, you're going to change this to Adobe Digital AC Pro. And you'll go down here and you'll do stereo DVD. Uh, I want to check really quick. It doesn't really matter which one you do. Um, but I'm doing Pro and you just select stereo DVD and you save it you'll see I've already done that as well and it will render it and then you'll have both the files that you need to go into DVD Architect so back down here we're gonna switch up bring up DVD Architect um, if you go over here you'll see it's kinda like Vegas um, I mean it's got it, it, it looks similar to Vegas and it pretty much behaves similar to Vegas as well. So you'll notice I've what I did to get this into this menu is I took it from down here and I just drag it in and then I off clicked it. And then after you do that it shows up over here in this plane. And uh so what you're gonna do then, see right now I'm on the menu, and then so you're gonna click on this video in the plane and it brings you there we go, you gotta double click and it brings you into the actual video and you'll notice down here uh, when you do this there won't be any sound down here so then what you have to do is you have to go over to 
the file manager again. This is my sound file. And uh, you'll just drag it on into this timeline and it'll match up perfectly. Um, you can preview the video and stuff. You can go back to the menu and you can you can you can screw around with this. You can change this background, you can change the font, you can change the names, etc. Um, most of it's all the right click menus, but you can find it in other voices. So if you have time, you can go ahead and do that. But I'm just going over the basics for uh, time's sake here. Um, then you're going to go up here, you're going to click make DVD. Go ahead, click burn. Okay, so I finished burning it. Um, you guys didn't need to see that burning. It may take a long time. It didn't take a long time for me, but I didn't want to unsync my audio video for later. Um, I'll ask you if you want to burn another. This is nice. Uh, if you need to burn multiple copies to hand in or if you have like group mates that you want to hand out DVDs to um, etc and then you don't have to keep re-rendering it every time you burn because uh, that may take quite a while um, and then you click no and basically you've done you got your uh, DVD here Let's see if I can pull this up um, No, I do not want to play it with Windows Media Player. And it brings up the menu, and boom, voila. There's your DVD, straight off the DVD. Alright, so that's it for this uh, tutorial. Uh, I'll see you guys in the other tutorials for this, uh, for DVD authoring. Thanks for watching.